In today's video, we'll be doing a review of Squirrely SEO. Now, Squirrely SEO is a website plugin in which you can use to optimize your website pages, your blog post pages, and also get overall recommendations to help improve your SEO. So essentially, it'll do an audit of your current SEO status and give you some recommendations to help you improve your search engine rankings. And while search engine optimization can be complicated, Squarely SEO does a really good job at making it very simple to follow the instructions and make the changes needed on your website. And if you wanted to get started with using Squarely SEO, I highly recommend that you check out the lifetime deal that's available on AppSumo. And for the one-time purchase of $50, you'll be able to use this on five websites. You'll have 25 pages in which you'll be able to optimize 300 keyword searches each month, 300 audit suite pages per month, and 15,000 new keyword ideas, and lastly, 15,000 deep keyword searches each month. Now again, if you really like um, Squirrely SEO, you can go ahead and get the double or the multiple plan, which will give you more sites, more keywords, and more audits. And once you set up for a plan of Squarely SEO, there's two main ways in which you can use it. One is using their web app in which you can start doing optimizations um, for your website. And the second way is by downloading the WordPress login um, onto your website. Personally, I prefer to use it on the website itself because I'm able to see what changes need to be made and I can make those changes a little bit easier. So, and you just wanna make sure that you're using the same email um, in which you signed up for the lifetime deal or the regular monthly plan so that the plan will be activated when you download the plugin. And once a plugin is activated, you wanna go ahead and take a look at the features and the recommendations in which Squirrely SEO is giving you. So once Squirrely SEO is loaded up, it'll show you some SEO goals that's specific to your website. So for instance, we're lacking a focus page. So it's telling us that if we wanna reach uh, the top positions of Google, we need to have a clearly defined strategy. So if you wanna get some more information on how to do this, you just go ahead and click show me how, and it'll actually show you how to complete this goal. So as we can see, it tells us why it's important to have a focus page. And it also shows us how we can go about doing this. So again, if you wanted to go ahead and do this, um, just go ahead and click um, let's do this. And again, as you can see, it's um, showing us how we can select one of our existing blog posts and make that a focus page for our website. So once Google knows what you're trying to rank for, there's a much higher chance that it'll actually rank you for those specific keywords. So you'd wanna go through your different posts and see whichever one is most related to your target keyword and set that as a focus page. Now, if you wanna further optimize those specific focus pages, you wanna go ahead and click see task. And the AI now is going to um, run an audit of this page and give you some recommendations in which you can make to help you increase the likeliness of ranking um, for this keyword and ranking this blog post on the first page of Google. And as you can see, when you go ahead and you complete one of those goals, you'd be able to see that that has been completed on the overview um, section of Squarely SEO. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second suggestion, which is um, helping us to avoid losing positions in search results. So we'd be able to activate SEO patterns with Squarely's site-wide SEO automation. Okay, so what this is going to do, it's going to search our website to see if there's any duplicate content, duplicate titles, empty titles, empty descriptions and more. So these things will negatively affect our SEO and our ranking. So it's going to go ahead and um, run an audit on all of our pages and let us know if there's any things in which we need to fix. So this is where you'd be able to make sure that your SEO patterns are activated. So for instance, on your home page or your post page, you wanna make sure that you're always redirecting any broken URLs. So if there's any broken links on your website, that may be causing your link juice to not um, spread to those pages and it could have a negative effect on your SEO rankings. So this makes it very easy for you to turn on redirects on all of your different posts and pages on your website. And the last task that we're getting here from Squarely SEO will allow the AI from Squarely SEO to optimize our on-page SEO meta description. So essentially, it'll optimize the titles and optimize the descriptions for us automatically. So when you turn on this function, the AI will optimize your title and your meta descriptions automatically, which will help you to improve your rankings. So this will help you take the guesswork out of optimizing your titles or your descriptions if you don't have much experience doing so. So now that we've completed a task that Squirrely SEO has assigned, 
these are some of the main features included in this SEO tool. So we have the AI assistant, which will help you set some next SEO goals. We can also optimize some specific pages. So as we talked about a little bit earlier, we decided on some focus pages. So we can go ahead and optimize those pages a little bit further. We can also find keywords and do some keyword research right within this tool. And we can also use the live assistant to optimize some new content. And you're also able to optimize multiple pages at one time see your keyword ranking positions, do an SEO audit, and set up your SEO so that it's automated all within this tool. So I'm very impressed by this SEO tool. When I think about how much we had to pay for the lifetime deal, it is definitely a steal and you're able to get a lot of value for what you pay for. Let's continue with the review and look at some other features included in Squarely SEO. Let's start by taking a look at the keyword research feature. So to get started, you wanna go ahead and enter the keyword in which you're writing about. Now, the second step is for you to select similar keywords from below. Now, you'd wanna select keywords that are most relevant or related to the keyword in which you're writing about. So once the results are loaded, this is what it'll look like. So it'll tell you the keyword and it'll show you the competition level, the amount of search volume and how often this topic is being discussed in the search engine. So you'd obviously wanna go ahead and find keywords that you have a decent or a high chance of ranking for. And the thing that I like about this specific keyword research tool is that it compares your chance of ranking compared to your current website authority. So this gives you a nice idea of whether or not you should go after a specific keyword or a key term, because again, it takes into consideration your specific website. So obviously, depending on the niche that you're in or the keywords in which you're currently ranking for or how long you've been on Google, this will all determine how um, easy or hard it would be for you to rank for a keyword. So this would be a very useful tool um, to sort of validate some keywords when you have an idea about a topic in which you wanna write about. Now, you also have the ability to optimize new content using the live assistant. So again, what you wanna do is click into that function go ahead to add new. And if you wanted to add a new post, um, you'd go ahead and select whichever type of content that you're creating. And once writing your content, the live assistant will give you some recommendations and some things to look out for um, when writing the content, just to make sure that you're doing the best practices to help the content rank on the first page of Google. And in order to use the live assistant, you wanna go ahead and enter the keyword in which you're trying to rank for for this specific topic and you wanna add at least three keywords for the best results. And once you've went ahead and added in those keywords, when you start writing, the AI or Squirrely SEO will start give you some recommendations um, to help you optimize your content. Now in step two, you'd be able to enhance your content by adding in images. So this is a really cool feature. Um, if you don't have access to copyright images, um, you can go through the library and the image alt tag will already have the keyword in which you're trying to go after. So these images are already optimized for the search engine. So that's a really nice feature. And step three will be your analysis. So again, you will get some more recommendations as to what you need to do to optimize this blog post or what you've done that's correct or what you can do to improve upon. And if you wanted to get some more in-depth analysis, then you can add this as a focus page. And again, once you do so, um, you'll run another audit on the page and get some recommendations as to what you need to do to improve that article. Another really useful feature that's included in Squirrely SEO is the ability to track your keywords. So you can, I believe, start by tracking three keywords and you wanna go ahead and add those keywords into your briefcase and Squirrely SEO will track those keywords um, for you. So this is a nice way um, in order to see, you know, how a keyword is progressing in the search engines for a specific blog post. If you're feeling overwhelmed while using Squirrely SEO, then no need to worry because it can be a little bit overwhelming at first. But once you get into the tool and you actually start using it, you'll become a lot better at understanding, you know, the features, the tools and how to use it to optimize your website. But if you wanted the step by step instructions, on how to optimize your website, then you can follow the 14 days journey. So this will take you through 14 days of optimizing your content and your website so that you can really improve your SEO. So this is a really useful feature 
And if you don't have an experience in SEO or using Squirrely SEO, you can go ahead and follow these 14 days to help you start optimizing your content. Overall, I think Squirrely SEO is a great SEO tool and I highly recommend that you go out and you grab the lifetime deal if it is still available. You get a lot of features, you get a lot of functionality, and for the price that you're paying, you really do get a lot of value for your money. This tool definitely has my stamp of approval and I recommend that you go out and you give it a try for yourself. As always, if you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the near future.